black holes, which are considered most exotic cosmic objects. Why most exotic? Because it is believed that their gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light can escape them. That is why they look black. The idea of black hole came almost 100 years ago when Albert Einstein gave his revolutionary theory of gravitation called general theory of relativity. And we believe that black holes are lurking at the heart of all the galaxies and responsible for many, uh, many uh, cosmic phenomena. But what we do not know is that black holes are also the simplest object in the universe. In the spherical case, a black hole is just a single point. So the idea is that a massive star is collapsing under its own weight. Then everything is converging to a single geometrical point, and that is called singularity. Otherwise, it's all vacuum. And the red sphere you see, that is an imaginary boundary. So within it, gravity is so strong that nothing can escape. And this red sphere boundary is called event horizon. However, 60 years, approximately 60 years following this, Stephen Hawking, the celebrated theoretical physicist who passed away recently, shocked the scientific world by claiming that black holes are not exactly black. They can radiate. They can radiate like a hot body. Though the temperature is negligible, it is less than millionth of a degree. It could be less than even trillionth of a degree. But nonetheless, as long as it is finite, it has profound physical implications. Because the idea of black hole Einstein obtained is by using something called general relativity, that is classical physics. And what Hawking did mixed general relativity with another pillar of modern physics, quantum mechanics. Two are apparently conflicting things. In my people have been trying to merge the two. Nobody was successful. Einstein was not successful. So people thought maybe Hawking has given us the gateway where these pillars are marching. So let me clarify. Most of the things we see in our real life, understood by simple laws, his space is continuous, time is continuous, energy is continuous, momentum is continuous, a particle, suppose electron is indeed a particle, a wave, a sound wave, or say uh, light waves, they are indeed waves. And general theory of relativity is also a classical thing, where things are continuous. In contrast, there is the mysterious world of microscopic subatomic particles. Here, the space energy is not continuous. It comes in small packets. For light, it is called photon. Even angular momentum is not continuous. They come in packets. Furthermore, things are fuzzy. Nothing is well defined. Say, normal picture, we see atoms. Electrons moving is not correct. Quantum mechanics, everything, there is a haze around it, as the charge is in a haze, fuzzy. Positions are not defined. Velocities are not precisely defined. Furthermore, for a particle, there could be opposite particle, or it is called antiparticle. You know electrons. There is opposite particle of electron. Electron has negative charge. It has positive charge. It is called positron or anti-electron. Protons, you know, it has positive charge. It has the opposite particle called antiproton, negative charge. And these are not myths. In laboratory, we are producing every day antiprotons and positrons. Now let us talk about fields. You know, if I keep a magnet, we can measure the, its influence with a magnetometer, the school experiments. If there is a charge, all around it, there is some energy and some force. So these are field, electric field, magnetic fields. These are real fields. We can measure in school level ex experiments. And when these fields are there, actually vacuum ceases to be vacuum because there is some energy kind of thing is there. In contrast, there is quantum field is there. Quantum field theory is something very ethereal and very funny. It says even though in the vacuum is there, there is no mass, no energy, still field is there. And field is not only alive, it is kicking. In the vacuum, particles and antiparticles may pop up. They are all the time popping up. But we don't see them because they are also annihilating in very promptly. So we don't see them. This is the idea. 
So particles, antiparticles, annihilating. But we have not measured this thing. This is a mostly matter of theory and interpretation. So now with this, we can understand what is Hawking radiation. See, Hawking radiation, we told, no? Say point particle, this event horizon is there. Suppose a vacuum produces a pair and anti-pair. Now they say the negative antiparticle, it has, neg it has negative mass and it falls within the black hole. When it falls within the black hole, nothing can come out, so it, it, it cannot go out. So as if a spouse is left uh, with no partner, then the positive particles run away from the event horizon, they emerge as Hawking radiation. And since the black hole is absorbing negative mass, it loses mass. This, and this is the way as if the black hole is getting evaporated. The temperature is very small, negligible. How, however, it increases if the mass of the black hole decreases. So for these reasons, sometime, maybe trillions and trillions of years, any black hole should actually evaporate completely. And if black hole vanishes from the universe, all this information also vanishes, and that is not allowed by quantum mechanics. And this is called quantum black hole information paradox. So although Hawking radiation is supposed to you know, merge this quantum mechanics and gravity, actually it is in contradiction with quantum mechanics. And topmost theoretical physicist, several Nobel laureates, they have been struggling to resolve this paradox unsuccessfully. So, but has Hawking radiation been discovered? It, if it is so important, so Hawking and his co-workers told that you know the universe is born out of a huge explosion called Big Bang. That time density was high, very high, very tiny mass black holes are to be produced in the universe is full with tiny mass black holes. And they are exploding in the present era. So he told that we should be observing tiny black holes exploding in the present era and they should emit gamma rays and also neutrinos, another particle. Since then, astrophysicists have been looking for those signals, but they have not found. This is one of the paper, latest paper from American telescope, Veritas, gamma ray telescope. So it is, came only one month ago, and they have not found it. Then there was idea that Large Hadron Collider is the biggest machine human beings have made in CERN, Switzerland. So their protons and antiprotons, they collide. They told that it then micro black holes may be produced, and then by Hawking radiation, they would explode. 19, in 2008, it became operational almost 10 years, nothing has been found. Another idea is that we are always bombarded from outer space, energetic charged particles, they're called cosmic rays. So cosmic rays can interact with our atmosphere and produce microscopic black holes, again, Hawking radiation, nothing has been found. In fact, one year before uh, Hawking passed away, he lamented that I missed the Nobel Prize because there has been no evidence for whatever I had predicted. Why no evidence? Is it because lack, lack of experimental sensitivity or some fundamental reason? Let us see, simple thing, in the class seven standard, we all study our square root, say nine. Square root of nine is three, because if you multiply three by three, you get nine. Also minus three, minus three also gives you nine. But if you say minus nine, there is no number whose double multiplication give you minus nine or minus one or minus four. The square root of minus quantities do not exist. Yet in mathematics, we require a lot of abstract things. So we say, let the abstract number. We say, suppose j, j is square root of minus one. Then we can form complex numbers. They help in mathematical analysis. In fact, electrical circuit analysis also they are used. That does not mean any of the current is negative or imaginary. Now, another thing is the waves. Sin theta, we learn in ninth standard trigonometry. So whenever a wave is there, simple form is sinusoidal, sine theta kind of form. So what it means, what means suppose say sine theta simple wave is there, frequency 50 hertz. It means something is probably periodically vibrating 50 times per second. Now there is really no negative frequency in it. And of course nothing complex. But mathematics, there is something called Euler's theorem means sine theta. We can express it in complex a number, through complex numbers, and that is useful. But that does not mean any imaginary frequency is there, any negative frequency is there. Similarly, in quantum field theory, whatever the field amplitudes, they are expressed in terms, which has been interpreted as positive frequency, negative frequency, and positive frequency is interpreted as particles, negative frequency interpreted as antiparticles. Is this real? So that many people have questioned. In fact, now as a quantum mechanism is not understood, 
So many people are telling when Newt understood a lot of fancy theories are there, and there is a paper in 2007 that myths and facts about quantum, many are myths. And about the quantum field theory, is there any evidence? So we know electromagnetic field, light electromagnetic field, that can be actually quantized. In 1930, it was done, and that has real relevance. In atomic physics, we have proof for that thing called lamp sheet. But quantum field theory goes much beyond it. Is there any evidence? It is claimed there is one evidence. What is that evidence? If I bring two metal plates very close, they tend to attract each other. It is suppose it is because of positive negative pairs and vacuum. But now a paper has come an important journal of physics letter B, it is called Casimir effect. They do not originate from vacuum uh, energy. So there is really no evidence for this quantum field theory interpretation. Now to another things. Now many people are actually questioning Hawking radiation. And 2003, one important review paper came. And it said that Hawking radiation idea is based on two devious assumptions. One thing is you say vacuum, whatever energy is there, so it is really behaving like uh, ordinary physics, which may not be correct. And second thing, quantum gravity. What is quantum gravity? See, suppose a piece of paper and light can graze in straight line. So the, then we say there is no gravity. And relativity idea is that if the sun is there, then light can bend, path of light. So we say space time has been bent. So if we really say quantum gravity, here we should form this quantum field theory, but we do not know. We field here in the flat space, and then we try to extend it. So really there is no theory of quantum gravity. Hawking also did not use any proper quantum gravity. So these are the two fundamental flaws. It says it endorses quantum gravity, but it is not based on quantum gravity. So long before it, in 1995, the famous Russian cosmologist Velinsky, he claimed to show that Hawking radiation, because of such things, actually do not, does not exist. In 2006, he wrote another detailed paper that there is no black holes do not radiate. Now, his papers have not been countered by Stephen Hawking or his co-workers. So we can say already Hawking radiation has been You say, suppose a child is crawling huh, upstairs, then child will get tired. That means he is losing energy. The baby is losing energy. And why black hole we cannot see? Because black hole black is so strong that any light, any particle is going up, it when it goes far away, it loses entire energy, e is going to zero. That is why we do not see it. But then Hawking radiation also we are seeing no far away. How do we see it? Then if energy goes to zero, then the point is that when pairs are produced, they must have infinite energy near the red sphere. And in physics, nothing can be infinite. Because if it is infinite, then locally temperature should be infinite. And then if it is infinite temperature, the black hole should blow up instantly. In that case, there should not be any black hole in the first place. So that is inconsistency. Now you see, you have heard Newton discovered gravity, he saw a group falling. Now what is the mass of the earth? It is positive. Mass of the uh, atom, whatever it is, 1 kg or 100 grams, it is positive. So positive and positive particles, positive particles, are they going away? No. They are falling towards. So positive and positive things in gravity, they attract. If there is any negative, that will be repelled. But in Hawking radiation, idea is different. It is say the positive thing is going away, a negative thing is this is wrong. So actually positive particles should fall inside, then black holes should gain in mass. And negative particles should go out. So instead of Hawking radiation, there should be anti-Hawking radiation and black hole gaining mass. But this is unphysical. And it cannot happen, it does not happen. Why it should not happen? There is also I told that particle antiparticle, electron is particle, its antiparticle has opposite charge, but masses are same and both the masses are positive. Proton the particle, its antiparticle is antiproton, charge is opposite, but masses are same. So pairs and everything has 
same positive charge. In that case, everything is positive, positive, so there is 50 50 chance of players falling inside, falling outside. In that case, both will negate, you know, annihilate each other and no radiation should be there. So, this is another cause, and I have written in my research paper also. Now, there could be a third thing that for the first time in the history, Einstein actually did not believe in black holes. There are many concepts, uh, many problems along with it. Many, Paul Gerard did not believe. But for the first time, my paper claimed to show in 2000 that there are no exact black holes. Another it does not allow. Incidentally, in 2004, in order to solve a black hole information paradox, Stephen Hawking also told there are no exact event horizon, no exact black holes. 2014 also he said this thing, 2015 also he said thing. But he, Hawking told that the event horizon may not form. Something else, some temporary horizon may form, but he did not show it, like how these things are happening. He said something quantum gravity is working, nobody knows, nobody has shown. In contrast, me and my co workers, American co workers, we have written almost 25 papers. Initially, there were some problems, then he corrected it, and we showed exactly, exactly by general relativity why there should be no exact black holes. Whenever stars cool up, actually there is no water and water and they radiate. And when they radiate, they actually lose mass energy. And they are losing mass energy and water. We have shown in series of papers in the prestigious journals, they become so hot that it becomes a ball of fire. And the outward radiation pressure raises the inward pool of gravity. So instead of black holes, you have something called hot ball of plasma, we call it eternal collapsing objects. And we predicted that they should have strong magnetic fields. That has been also found. So we have shown why not exact black holes. But this is beyond my clock. And our conclusion is the black hole solution is fine, exact. Then black holes in this way, whatever they are formed, they should have zero mass energy. And when you zero mass energy, whatever I see in the sky, they are not black holes, they are approximate black holes, quasi black holes, and we believe these are eternally collapsing objects. Now many people may think. Uh, we have written papers in top journals, but they were wrong. But 40 years ago, French relativist, quite famous, Louis Bell had a paper. That paper contained in the similarly the black hole solution is correct. But ultimately, the black hole is mass zero. Mass zero, why? Now, in nature, whatever things happen, system tries to go to lower energy state, ground state to lower energy. And black hole is the Absolute ground state, every star material falling, carbon is single point, and nothing happens. And the absolute ground state energy should be minimum, lowest energy is equal to zero. So, no exact black holes, no radiation, 